Today we're running through the instructions for the E5 laid off scenario. So I'll read kind of the background story here and then we'll go through each step and what you need to do. Background. You are 27 years old, married, and have a one-year-old daughter. You are fortunate that both you and your spouse have jobs and you make enough money to pay your bills and enjoy life. You currently live in an apartment and are saving money to buy a house. Along with having enough money to live month to month, you also have $5,000 saved towards a down payment on a house when the time is right. Things are going well. Unfortunately, you have just learned that the shipping company you are working for was bought out by another company. As a result, the branch you work at is being closed and you no longer have a job. You have filed for unemployment and have heard back that you qualify for 40% of your salary, which is $1,000 a month. You must now figure out how to pay your bills with a much lower income. So before, your wife and, and you together made about $4,000 a month. Now you're only going to make $2,500 a month. Your salary went from $2,500 a month to $1,000. So that's $1,500 cut out, which is a lot of money. You must figure out a budget that you can afford with your new salary. You can do so by cutting expenses wherever possible. So here's your situation, all right? If you look on the right, I'm sorry, on the left here, you can see this is what your budget was. So this is what you were spending before any of this happened and different things you were spending money on, okay? And these are pretty modest prices for the categories. Um, there's nothing here where you're going above and beyond and spending a ton more money than you should have, okay? So now we switch to here. And over here, this is your situation now that you have less money. And so you have to decide how much money am I gonna spend in each category? So I'll run you through each category and, and we can talk this over a little bit. So daycare, all right? So you spent $500 a month on daycare. Now obviously you can cut here. That's true, but there's some problems with that, okay? If you cut out daycare, there's nobody to watch your kids if you get an interview, right? We'll say your parents live out of town. It's not convenient. Um, plus, if you cut daycare, you might not be able to get back in when you do get a job. It's very hard to get into daycares because there's limited spots. So you can make the cut and go to zero, but it might be hard to get your kid back in if you do. Next, savings to buy a house in the future. Uh, $350, you certainly could cut that. Um, you could cut out as much as you wanted to. That's extra money you're saving for a house. And while you probably don't want to do that, sometimes you have to make those sacrifices if you have less money. Other expenses, you know, this is like, you know, toothpaste, toilet paper, stamps, um, office supplies at home, you know, all those kind of things. So you have $300, you have to spend at least 200. You can't go below 200. Health insurance, car loan payments, um, college loan payments, those are all fixed, can't change those. Food, you can go down a little bit, but not a lot. You have to eat. So you can, you were at 200, you can go down to 150 at the least. Car insurance is fixed, can't change that. Diapers and formula, $100 is a, a pretty good deal. You can go with more off-brand and buy in bulk uh, and go down to 75 if you want to. Cell phone bill is fixed, can't do anything about that. Cable and internet, you can stay at 70 or you can go with a basic internet, no cable at $40. Electricity bill, you can try to cut it some. The least you can do is 50. Water and garbage are set, can't change those. Netflix, you can cut that out if you want to. So go through, decide on your new prices, and you have to make sure in the end, after everything's done, that you spend no more than $2,500. So you put these in, add them up, put your expenses here, take 2,500 minus your expenses and put in how much money you have left right there. It should be zero or higher. It cannot be a negative number or you need to cut more from the top. So what I'll grade you on then are these four questions right here. And let's get rid of my boxes because they are ugly now. Okay, good. So number one, if this were your family, how would these financial problems make life more difficult? In general, for your family as a whole, why would things be a lot more difficult? 
Number two, how could this situation you face make your relationship with your spouse more difficult? So why would things be a little harder between you and your husband or wife because of this situation if you were married? Number three, imagine as a teen, your parents faced a similar situation to this couple. What changes would you see in your own life? So number one is how your family life changed. Number three is if this is your family and your teen, as a teenager, what changes would you have? It may have to do with um, activities you do. It may have to do with things that you buy. It may have to do with allowance. You could talk about a lot of different things there. Try to talk about at least two different changes. Number four, the scenario you just worked with provided the unemployed person with a payment of 40% of his or her income. This is how unemployment works in Wisconsin. Do you think this system encourages citizens to find work when they lose a job? Explain your answer with at least two sentences. So if you face a situation and you know, okay, I'm going to get up to 40% of my income for up to six months and then it's cut off. Is that going to you know, encourage you to find work? Um, are you going to go out and try to find a job? What do you think? Answer with at least two sentences. So try to provide detail for these and you're all set with this assignment. When you're done, you can submit it. And if you have questions, please talk to your teacher.